Chris, to completely understand what's going on here, you have to know where the water source is coming from for Folsom residents. And that's here at Folsom Lake. I filled up this water bottle so you can see that the water is slightly murky. Of course, it goes through a water treatment process, but somewhere in between when the water gets from here to somebody's house, the pH level gets too high. And that water is causing damage to pipes that's costing people thousands of dollars in damages. Over 1,000 people have reported pinhole size leaks and copper pipes in the city of Folsom, the Willow Creek Estates neighborhood having the most, with 280 homes reporting leaks, which is where we found Bill Ferris, who was in the middle of repairing the second leak at his house. This cost me almost 10000 And that's just to have his house repiped from copper to PEX pipes. Ferris's master bathroom caved in from water damage and his garage ceiling left exposed, covered with a thin piece of plastic awaiting repairs. Now it's costing me a lot more because we have to repair the damage. Marcus Yasutaki with the city of Folsom says the city hired Black and Beach and Virginia Tech University to investigate the cause of the copper pipe leaks. So the raw water coming in and the finished water is low in alkalinity, low in total dissolved solids, low in calcium. And that, when mixed with uh, a pH that gets above 9 and any impurities in the copper pipe or sediment in the copper pipe, can lead to pitting inside the pipe. To stop the high pH balance from damaging pipes, the city has been instructed to add orthophosphate to Folsom's water treatment process. It can mitigate or even uh, slow or eliminate the copper pitting from occurring, whether it's already started or whether it hasn't started. The city was granted temporary approval to begin the new water treatment process. If allowed, a permanent amendment will cost the city almost $20,000. But when it comes to who's at fault for the leaks... Well, that's going to be something that has to be discussed at the city council level. Um, whether or not we're at fault, that's you know not for, for us to me to determine. The city began the oral phosphate water treatment process October 8th. It's going to take about two months for it to do its job. But when it comes to why so many homes have these copper pipes that are bursting, it's because it wasn't until 2010 when builders could have plumbing that didn't have copper pipes, like the ones that Mr. Bill is using now in his home. Back to mm, you. My goodness, it's good to finally have some answers. Our Monica Coleman reporting live for us tonight from a beautiful area there in Folsom at the Folsom Lake. We thank you, Monica.